you have your Bible with you this morning, please turn with me to the word of the Lord here today in Jesus' name. Out of the book of Joshua, Joshua chapter 1, beginning at verse number 10. That's Joshua chapter 1 and beginning at verse number 10. We also like to dedicate our program today to our daughter, Anisha Burton. Thank God for you so much. And also like to say, uh, we'd like to send program out to my sister, Louise McCray. Thank God for being able to see her. She came to visit uh, this weekend. And we're thanking God for her so much in Jesus' mighty name. Joshua chapter 1, beginning at verse number 10. That's Joshua chapter 1 and verse 10. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the camp. And command the people, saying, Prepare provisions for yourself, for within three days you will cross over this Jordan to go in to possess the land, which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. We want to talk to you for a few moments here, my friends. God will prepare you for change. God will prepare you for change. And also, let's go. God will prepare you for change. Let's go. The, the, the Israelites, the, 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 the people of God, were in the wilderness for a number of years and they had gotten into a cycle of life where there was no change. Their routine was their routine was the same all of the time. Their routine had not changed in the number of years that they were there in the wilderness. And God had began to speak to Joshua and to tell Joshua to go through the camp and command, not ask, command. Mm -hmm. He commanded them to get ready for a shifting in your life on today. See, our lives, we have uh, gotten into certain things within our lives where we are always doing the same thing, but we never change. We never change our uh, lifestyle. We, not our lifestyle, we never, I'm going to make it lifestyle, we never change the way we do things. But we have a continuous ritual of doing the same thing over and over again. And at times that may be good, but my friend, God says it's time for change. So the Israelites had to prepare themselves, uh huh, provisions because in three days, now they had been in the wilderness for 40 years. They had been doing the same thing for so long. And now it was time to change or a shifting, uh huh, of their lives. So then the word of the Lord said, Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the land, or pass through the camp, and not tell them uh -huh, to change, but command them to change. See, we, we, we as a society, and we as people, we do not like no one, anyone, dictating over our lives and telling us what to do. That is something that we, it comes uh, against our spirit. But my friends, I'm here to tell you that God has a way of telling you to do things mm -hmm, that you will have to prepare yourself to move into the area of life that God has designed for your life. Change, 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 glory be to God, is inevitable and it is coming whether we want it or not. So here in the Word of the Lord, the Bible says that Joshua commanded the people, saying, prepare victory for yourself. For within three days, see, now they had been doing the same thing for so long. They had been 
doing the same thing for such a long time to where three days change, three days preparation was not, it did not seem long enough. It did not seem like there was enough time to get prepared. It did not seem like there was enough time to be able to uh, get prepared to uh, get change to come within their lives. But the word of the Lord said, the word of God said that the man of God, the, the man of God, Joshua, began to command them and tell them that God said, mm, glory be to God. I'm talking to you about God. I said God said it's time for a change, a radical positioning. Hallelujah. A change, a shifting, a moving. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Something that you are not prepared for, but God has prepared you for. So your flesh is not prepared for change. But God said, I will prepare your life. I will, glory be to God, I will prepare you for a shifting and a moving and a change within your life. Look here at the word of the Lord, my friends. The Bible says, the word of the Lord says, within three days you will cross over this Jordan to go into possess, take authority, take over the land, take the land, hallelujah, that I am giving unto you this day. I'm giving you a way into the blessings of God. See, this was the promised land for the people of God. This was a land that God had prepared for them, but yet the land had been taken away from them by the evil forces of the works of the enemy. And now God said, it's time for you to cross over into this Jordan. Now, can you imagine them when they were in captivity under Pharaoh's rule? And when they were in captivity under Pharaoh's rules, they had, they had to do the same things over and over again. Uh -huh. See, we hate to go through the process of doing the same thing over and over again. We want to change. We want something different. We don't want the same thing. Mm -hmm. But my friend, God will prepare you to move into an area of life that God has prepared just for you. God has designed blessings to fall within your life and to come within your life, the blessings of God, but you can't receive them mm -hmm, by being in your old life. Your old life is stopping you from receiving the true blessings of God to be uh, empowered within your life. The empowerment of God to come into your life. I remember being in the church where uh, the pastor had moved on and a new pastor had came in. They did not want to receive the new pastor because they were so stuck on the old ways of the old pastor. And the new pastor began to tell them, said, listen here, God's going to move some of you out of here. I know you got mad at that. But God's going to move some of you out of here because you're not willing to change and you're not willing to accept what God has done in our church. We don't want change. We don't want things to change. We want things to stay the same way. But my friend, it's not going to stay the same way. God's going to move and he's going to change some things. And he's going to begin to reposition some things within our lives. We want the same choir directed to direct us all of our lives. But no, my friend, God's going to Mashata. He's going to elevate those that are willing to step in to the position of change. Mm -hmm. And it's always an opposition when somebody comes in uh, to change something. Uh, it's always a force, an opposition, something that you've got to fight. Uh, you've got to fight the enemy because there's opposition uh, that's coming, the negative forces uh, that are coming to those that are in charge, uh, to those that are over, my friends, the enemy. You Can you imagine uh, how they must have disliked Joshua? Uh, 
that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. We've been in this position for a long time. We don't want to change. We want to stay just like we are. We're comfortable here in the city. Hallelujah, that we are in. We're comfortable here in this setting. We don't want to change. We don't want nothing to be any different than it is. But my friend, there are times when change is inevitable. You can't stop it. It's coming. You can you can uh, do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Because God said, I will prepare. I will make you. I will make a way for your life for change to come within your life. Look here at the word of God. The Bible says, go in to possess, I mean, take authority over the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. Go in, Joshua, and possess the land. Go in. See, now they were under the rule of Moses for such a long time, and they had got comfortable in the life of Moses. Hallelujah. And Moses did his job according to the specifications of the word of the Lord. And Moses was willing to do what God had told him to do. But the word of the Lord said, the word of God said that when God told Moses, Moses, you're not going over. Mm, glory be to God. Said Moses, you're not going over into the promised land. Now can you imagine Moses saying, Lord, look all what I've done for you. Look at how I've done things according to your word. Look at what I've done for you. But my friend, it was time for Joshua to move into the authority of God. And they would not have accepted two heads. They had needed only one. So God had to put my shot out of Osiah. He had to prepare Joshua for the work at hand. Now, can you imagine? They don't really want to listen to the word of the Lord. We don't want to listen to God. But God says it's time for you to change the way you do things. Hallelujah. Change your way of thinking. Change the way you are positioning yourself in life. And begin to prepare for the change to come. That God is going to move within your life. He's going to begin to break up some shallow ground. Those things that the enemy has, uh -huh, has put stumbling blocks in your way. And causing you to miss what God has for your life. Look here at the word of the Lord one more time. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people saying, pass through the camp and command, not, 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 not ask them, but command the people saying, prepare for yourselves. Vittles for within three days. I'm not talking about one. I'm not talking. See, we don't want that change to come. For within three days, you will cross over this Jordan to go into possess the land which the Lord your God has given you to possess. Now they had to fight some enemies. They had to fight some demonic forces. They had to leave behind some of the things that they loved doing. Come on, somebody. We don't want to leave. I can't leave this behind. So we're carrying around things in our lives that we need to let my shot out. We need to let go in Jesus' name. Let go of that thing that happened to you that was so dreadful to you in your past. Let it go in the name of Jesus. And begin to pick up the word of God. Let go all of those things that the enemy is holding on to you with. Let it go in the name of Jesus. And begin to walk into this new position that God has given unto you to walk into on today. Have a fresh look, a fresh life, a fresh look out in life, my friend. Because God is preparing you for the change that's coming in your life. There's not, it's not, your life is not going to stay the same. There's going to be a preparation of change that's going to come in your life on today. And the Spirit of the Lord will elevate you and move you into the blessings of God. Mm -hmm. See, I remember, I don't know how it was, how did we have God blessed us back in 2000 in the revival, in the tent revival years ago, and how God moved in, in, in those uh, revival services and how the Spirit of the Lord moved and how people came and they preached. 
The word of God, they prayed, they prophesied, they were slain in the spirit, laid in the straw. The Bible, how you was coming forth within their lives. People were blessed by the word of God. And people had received the thing of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I loved it those days. Yes, I did. I'm not going to tell you that I didn't, that I did not. But I love those days of revival. And I believe that revival is still yet in the land, but it may not be in my, come on somebody. We don't want this change to come. It may not be in my hands no more. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, I still love the work of the revival. I still love the outreach work of the ministry. I love it. I love it. Hallelujah. But God said it's time for change. Change is inevitable. And your life is not going to stay the same. You're not going to be the same way all the time. You got to make room for the new things of God to come in. You got to make room. See, we don't want new people to come into our churches. We want the same people there all the time. The, the same ones there all the time. Mm-hmm. And when someone new comes in, we fight. There's a fight, my satire. There's a fight going on mm-hmm. in the choir because the people does not want to change the way God has the way they have done things for so long. They don't want to change these uh, situations in their lives. But my friends, I'm here to tell you that God has said, prepare yourself, get ready, come on, get ready, get ready for change to come within your life. Joshua had to get ready for the change to come. He had to fight the forces of the people Uh because they were still thinking about Moses and Moses had died off. Moses had left the scene. He was no longer there. God said, Moses, you're not going over into the promised land. And and Moses had to accept what God had given unto his hand to do. You remember Moses. Moses was the one that went back into Egypt and told her Pharaoh to let the people of God go. And the people of God were in captivity for such a long time that they got comfortable in that position in life. But yet they were praying for a deliverer. They were praying for change. Mm -hmm. And when change came, they did not want to leave. They wanted to take, let's take all the things that God has given to us in this land. Let's take it with us. But my friend, you couldn't, they couldn't carry it all. Hallelujah. They couldn't take all of the old things that they had. God said, I'm going to make a new way. I'm going make to a, make a fresh way. I'm going to give you a new design. I'm going to give you a new way of doing things. Mm-hmm. But we want to stay the same way. We don't want to change. Hallelujah. We don't want change to come into our lives. But my friend, when you get born again, when you get saved, when you get delivered by the power of God, when you get Holy Ghost filled by the Spirit of the Lord, change will come within your life. The things that you used to do, the the people that you didn't like before, the people that was on your list, on your hit list of not liking, God had begun to change your way of thinking. The folks that you did not like became your best friend. The folks that was unlovable that you think, that was unlovable for you to love them, they became those people that God used to bless your life. My friends, I'm here to tell you that change is coming. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get this change to come within our lives. Let's get the things of God moving within our lives like never ever before. God will prepare you for change. In three days, my friend, God prepared the children of Israel that they were in captivity by the hand of Pharaoh. He changed their lives. And while the Spirit of the Lord moved within their lives in a dramatic way they were not willing to uh, make the change hallelujah that God had prepared them to prepared for them too. My friend, change came so fast that they were unprepared. But my friend, change still came. And they had to move from their own land into the promised land. My time is coming and going, my friend. But God will, God will. I said God will prepare you for change in these last and in these evil days. Allow God 
to make the change within your life. Until next time, God will prepare you for change. Let's go. In Jesus' name, amen.